Hey, family, get on news for the man that's in the man of the Today is supposed to be Thursday, Thursday in my city, Chicago. My state, Illinois. They don't call it the ill state for nothing. It's supposed to be Christmas Eve also. December 24th, supposed to be the year 2020. Now, it's supposed to be a lot of things, and you know, things change, the game change. If you're a game changer, that's when everybody, you know, take advantage of you and stuff, you know, because they be looking for stuff that's new. It's kind of like trying to come up with a new song or a new joke or whatever and stuff. Now, I got this candy right here, right? It was 41 pieces when I opened it up. I got railroaded May 31st, 2008, at the age of 41. Now, I got these lifesavers right here. These mints, they individually wrapped. You understand what I'm saying? Mints, pep o mints. Pep O Mint. You understand what I'm saying? Individually wrapped. So I'm going to open these motherfuckers up in front of you and count them. Okay? Pay attention. I don't want you to think I'm cheating. I ain't never got this kind before. But I know back in the day I used to get 100 pieces of candy for a, a, a dollar. It used to be penny candy. And it was tax free. As you can see. I paid a dollar for this, and it ain't a hundred pieces of candy. So, you know, motherfuckers, it's cheating. But let's see how many there is. Yo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Sobriety year, my birthday is May 25th, and, you know, Oprah owe me some goddamn money. You understand what I'm saying? And I had to pay tax, too. See, this say Pep Old Mint. You understand what I'm saying? See, they, she talked about, you know, reserving people eggs and stuff, you know, so when they get older or whatever and stuff, you know, just in case they want to have a child or whatever and stuff. See, people do stuff without my permission, and when I was made homeless, you understand what I'm saying, real talk. Man, you know, they did some things that I wouldn't have had agreed with. You understand what I'm saying? It kind of forced some shit on me and stuff and thought I was crazy or whatever. So I left my mother's picture, you understand, you know, at the hospital. And I went back to let them know that, I, you know, wasn't nothing wrong with me other than the fact that I needed shelter because, you know, they had made me homeless. And um, I took a, um, I took a, like a panther ankle sock and I put it on the ledge of the hospital or whatever in Austin on the west side or whatever to let them know you know I'm not crazy and there's a you know police white guy out there that knows I'm not lying and stuff for real for real because he was looking at me like he saw Jesus or something real fucking tough so they said it's Christmas in China because you know they had a day ahead of us or whatever and stuff you understand and you know I didn't work my ass off that goddamn much you know, selling general merchandise for years and years and years, about as long as Oprah was on on, on TV, 25 years or whatever. See, everybody wanted to get their money run and marry the love of their life and all that. But here we go, right there. I'm a lifesaver. See? See? Now, I try to save you, Oprah, I, I promise. But they got this song, don't save her. She don't want to be saved, don't save her. You know, it's like taking candy from a baby, right? But not this baby. You understand what I'm saying? Not my motherfuckers and shit. Step y'all game up, motherfucker. So somebody definitely probably got my child, and that's why they're trying to kill me because, you know, I'm worth the most because I'm the originator of rap for real, for real. And I coined the term your ghetto news reporter, and I'm the reason for a whole bunch of good stuff. You understand what I'm saying? For real, I just can't. can't you, know, they, you know, that's why it'd be like good morning because they, they really be saying, you know, God morning, meaning, you know, they don't like God. You know what I'm saying? I guess, you know, I don't know. You know, they don't believe in nothing. <laughs> they don't even believe in Oprah love counting and shit. She love counting, so count that again for her. You know what I'm saying? Make sure ain't nothing in there, because I don't want to cheat you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 
So this is how they talk code language and stuff like that. So, you know, I would have, I should have, I should have did the same with this one, but it was 41 in here. Now I knew this one girl named Crystal and she pulled the gun on me in Chicago Heights and stuff. She used to, you know, snort blows and stuff like that. And she had a couple of sons or whatever and stuff. She called, we call ourselves dating or whatever and stuff, you know, and she asked for a hundred dollars and, you know, and I, you know, to borrow it, and, you know, and I asked for it back, and, you know, I think she thought, you know, I was just supposed to let her have it, I was like, no, I need my money back and stuff, right, and, you know, and I let her sons, you know, ride my motor scooter that I had back in the day, it was a, you know, Honda scooter or whatever and stuff with a radio, and, you know, they rode it like, you know, they was, you know, they was having fun, I was just trying to give her some good memories, but she was trying to get me to, you understand what I'm saying, stick up a goddamn restaurant and shit, I was like, girl, I'm out here selling general merchandise. I don't need to, you know, stick up no... But when you're on drugs, you understand what I'm saying? Or when somebody is worth something, when you, or when you think somebody is stupid and gullible and in love, you know, and people think because I cry, you understand what I'm saying, that I'm weak and emotional and all that. You know, I'm just sentimental about the ones who be trying to, you know, and they got children. I'll be like, damn, you don't see what's going on in front of you. I'm trying to, you know... Get you to think a little bit or whatever and stuff, you know. Now, they be having money, but they be one free head and shit from suckers and stuff. And I'm like, girl, come on, man, you know. You know, mine is a terrible thing to waste. Everybody gets lonely, but at the end of the day, come on. You know, if you got money, nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying? You get anybody you want. You understand what I'm saying? Except the ones you want. So, basically... If you got two people that's worth the most and shit, now this how this how I think. What would they want? Me, I would probably want a family, right? Because I've never had a family for real, for real. And Oprah, she would probably want what? Real love, right? Because she's never had real love. I've had real love before. I was in love. I really was and stuff. I can't. I can't. I cannot lie and say I wasn't and stuff. I was. So I know how love feels. They said it's, it's better to love and lost than to have never have love at all. You know. You understand what I'm saying? But was it? Lust, you understand what I'm saying? See, it's the difference, you understand? You know, see, I don't believe people ever really do fall in love. I think they just play with people's minds and stuff, or, you know, individuals, you know, because they get savages and, you know, they don't... Oprah used to cry a lot. She don't cry no more. So I'm going to get to that point where I don't cry either no more. And when I don't, that's it, that's all. You understand what I'm saying? So when you get to the point where you don't cry no more, that means you have lost all of humanity. You have lost, you know... You pretty much, your soul is gone. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't thinking about nothing but yourself. And I haven't gotten to that yet. You understand what I'm saying? But next year, I plan on, you know, just not caring and stuff. So, you know, over, you got shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in the wake up. You know, because Kwanzaa is, they, they Christmas and stuff. They get a whole fucking goddamn weekend shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know if I pray hard enough, anything is possible. Real talk. It's my story. And until I get what I want, for real, for real. And that's Oprah definitely going to give me, she going to give me at least $2 billion now out of her pocket since I had to go through all this shit. For real. Yeah, see, she would have gave me $2 million tax-free in 1995 when she had $500 million. You understand what I'm saying? The game would have been over with this with this call of, you know, a game. I don't play games. You understand what I'm saying? But you wanted, you wanted my legacy and everything. I mean, it's like, damn. It's like, what the fuck? You know, so, you know, shit's starting to come around. And, you know, you can tell your trolls in this building, 6210 South Kenbark Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60637. Apartment 308 is where I'm at. And the rest of these motherfuckers, you know, that you paying off, you know, to listen and tell you whatever the fuck. Look, I'm personally telling you, you know, leave me the fuck alone. Leave people alone who ain't bothering you and stuff because, you know, karma come around and you're not going to be able to. Who's going to help you? If I was the only real motherfucker that really genuinely cared, for real, for real. You know, I kept rescuing you, but you just, for some reason, you understand what I'm saying? You just didn't believe and stuff. And you wait until the last minute to see what's going to happen. Because what you say, you're going to run on and see what the end going to be. But what did I say? You're going to come running. That's what I said. So I don't want to blame it all on you, but you had the most influence and you are a rapper. 
If you, you know, <laughs> if you don't believe it, you know what I'm saying? You've been rapping for 25 years, right? You understand what I'm saying? You went off the air on my birthday, right? May 25th of 2011, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you you my first prodigy or whatever and stuff. Now, I'm old enough to let you know how I run my business. And I run it just as well as Harriet Tubman ran her train, but not off the track. You know what I'm saying? And she never lost a passenger. I don't want to lose you, Oprah, but I'm here to tell you. I'm really upset because you read everything and I know you know a lot of stuff and you know if I was working and working and working and working I didn't have time to read but you know I listen so you know that's just as good I'm just not listening to motherfuckers who ain't you know making sense to me and as far as Biggie Smalls or whatever and stuff you understand what I'm saying I know him and probably little Kim and maybe even Faith is you know, <laughs> together as a family and stuff. I don't know, because, you know, y'all y'all play so many games. That's why they say in um, in um, the meeting, the AA meeting, you know, after a while you won't be able to differentiate the truth from the false. But I can see, you know what I'm saying, bullshit and smell it a mile away or whatever. So, you know, hope y'all having fun in my city, Chicago. And, you know, when y'all leaving, man, for real. Cause all that bullshit is starting to smell. Yep. And take the coronavirus with you. Okay? Yeah. All right. Too much pride to kill you. Step your game up. Peace.